Everybody, welcome to the Officer Keep It Real Show. I'm your boy, Daryl Triplett. I'm your host, your boy, Officer Keep It Real. I'm here with your girl, Net B. Hello. And I'm here with Jay Anthony from Jay Anthony Beats. Yo. And as always, Key Mac on our social media in the background. Thank you for joining us, everybody. And uh, man, it's been a rough week. Woo, not so rough for me. It's been rough for me. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's been rough for me, y'all. It has been a rough week. Folks, as always, we're going to keep it real. We're going to have fun here on Officer Keep It Real Show. We want to thank you for joining us once again. And I want to remind everybody that we are moving to People TV as of the end of July. Woo! Yeah. Hey, so y'all can somebody tell everybody what is People TV? Uh, <laughs> it's so shady. People, that, that is a little bit of shade, Jay. Yeah. People don't know what People TV I is. Well, I, I didn't know, so I, I wanted to people, know. people, if you don't know, People TV is an Atlanta network broadcast that broadcasts to over 100,000 uh, Atlanta residents uh, live. So, that's great. Yeah, that's so you good. Turn your TV on instead of using your data. There you go. That's good. That's what's up. There you go. We're trying to save you and your data plan, people. Mm -hmm. Trying to save you money. See? Mm -hmm. Also, keep a real yeah. team. Always trying to save someone on some money there. Folks, we got some hot topics. Hey, uh, hey. Well, yeah, you write about not a lot. I'm getting all my damn money. We'll get you a little, we'll get you a little pocket change for the weekend, but that's about it, folks. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a, little a little drink or two. Yeah. Maybe a dance or two. That's <laughs> all we're going to get you around here. That's it. You know, I got bills due. Can you pay my bill? Can you pay me telephone bill? Did somebody talk about Micah? Wow, really? Or maybe I just missed the week and I feel like... Yeah, oh, you missed the week. So how was your vacation? It was great. We don't care. Really? I heard they put out an Amber <laughs> Alert. Okay. I heard they put out an Amber Alert for your kids. I ain't trying to put you on blast. <laughs> but that's <laughs> zoo. They did. <laughs> she wasn't at the zoo. It's a good know. thing you wasn't at the damn zoo. You, so, you know what? Y'all so shady. Y'all so shady. Yeah. They did put out an Amber Alert. Your kids on a ship. On a and ship. We, and we in and the we, water. We just had to kill a gorilla. Mm. Right. Them kids, kill they would have had to pull up and kill them. Those kids. Let me tell y'all. They not kids. They teenagers. They left the room at 1130 at night going to the teen club. We woke up at 530 that morning. They went back. Wow, they yeah. party hardy in the yard. Hey, that's a move. Yes. Yeah. So they done put out an Amber Alert at the kids at, at sea at, yeah. on the dang on boat, and y'all finally found them. We finally found them. They were in the pizza bar with like 10 other kids just hanging out. Wow, just chilling. Just chilling. Like they grown. <laughs> they done paid the ticket to get on the boat. Right. What about I don't get tired. I don't get tired. I party on. I'm put, I, yeah, yeah, right. I would have strung them out to dry. They'd be using yeah, boat bumpers to mess around with me. And this time, they're going to be on leashes. The Harambe leash. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I'm a pet man. A don't know about pet my idea. A I'm gonna tell you down right now. Don't <laughs> pet my idea. This ain't that idea, my man. Don't pet my it's stuff so now. Shady. Hey, don't pet, don't pat my idea. I'm coming at you with the Harambe leash. We are gonna keep those babies on the Harambe leash. Mm -hmm. Good thing, like you said, hey, you what? Shark, we got a shark tank with that one. <laughs> 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 like, oh, you're black. Never mind. No, no, no. We've already got that. <laughs> we already got that idea. We've already came up with the Harambe leash. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, folks, uh, be sure to tune in with us every Friday at four o'clock at OKIR.TV. That's four o'clock. OKIR.TV. Uh, we start on time, even though some of us run a little late today, including myself. I'm never uh, late. Okay. I'm always on time. All right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I you and Sergeant Peace be, um, you yeah. never know I'm which one you're going to get. One day, always one always week you get Sergeant Peace, one week you get Jay Anthony. I know. Yeah, but I'm always I on think time. we like Jay yeah. Anthony a little better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so shiny. He's so shiny. Well, Sergeant Peace, where is he at? Where, where, is, where is he at? You know he's on vacation, y'all. He's, he's in Dallas. Down. He's in Dallas. Where? Yeah. He's in Texas. Yeah, he's in Dallas. 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 I mean, I ain't putting that way yet. I don't know okay. he's listening. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> he's just out of time. Well, then we ain't yeah. putting out. Yeah. We ain't putting yeah. out him. Yeah. 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 Hey, it's already released. That's all already from the Texas. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. that? Yeah. That's why they say he in Texas. Hey, well, then we ain't going to tell y'all he in Texas. We won't put it out that he in Texas then. He's just out of time. 
Nellis, I'm being on the show, Tavio. Mm. You Say better hello to <laughs> one of your exes. So, listen up, folks. When we tell you to, when we tell you the phone lines are open, dial us up at 866-888-RUSH, 866-888-7874, and get a chance to win $50, cold hard cash. little party money for the weekend. Oh, yeah. All we'll right. That pocket change. Don't be calling up here. We're doing Five minutes yes. before, too. Don't be calling mm -hmm. up there, no, darling. Before we tell you to talk about it, like, I'm trying to win the $50, nigga. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a red hot negative. You ain't getting nothing. Y'all know what? I think that if we don't give out the fifty dollars, we should split it. <laughs> That's the smartest thing you can do all year. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Just because you done used all your little change to find those badass kids of yours on the damn boat. That don't mean we just giving out free money around him. Trying to come up. Alright, you trying to come up. Can I get my You you look hey. every week. I got a fat Didn't we just give him a thousand dollars, something like that? Oh damn. Mac has been doing good on the sign-ups. I will say that. It's $50 a sign-up? It is $50 if you have the most sign-ups. Yeah, so we have a contest have going on. We got, folks, we have a contest going on. That who, whatever, what, that, can I talk to the people here? Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Oh, my God. Ever since, had <laughs> ever since she done had weight less surgery, ever since she done got her hair dyed, cut again, Lord Jesus, they just so ghetto people. Y'all got to excuse them. So listen up, folks. We got a little contest going on. Whoever get the most signups around here for the OKIR team, that team member gets next to fifty dollars, and our staff member. And uh, for real, for real, Key Mac has been winning. But whatever. For real, for real. If I told all my cousins and brothers and sisters and no, she keep creating different email addresses and different names. That's what she's doing. That's what she's doing. <laughs> what I be doing is, you know, hey, I wouldn't put that past her. If she talk about robbing the bank, oh, she gonna tell somebody to come up here and do some slick stuff. Right. I ain't even worried right. about that. Never. We're gonna go on and push on y'all, because we got to get on with our topics. Hey, y'all call up here, keep it 100. Don't call up here with no BS. We're gonna give it back to you. Again, the phone number to call up is 866-888-7874. Uh, again, folks, we're gonna go and jump right into the topics. I like that yeah, foul. What up with the fool, man? Yeah. I like the foul. That, that ain't what's up. Bro. Seven eight seven foul. <laughs> so look, it's like the white kid from Malibu and trying to be cool, man. I am the I am the I'm the white kid with black skin from Malibu, with just without the money. Yeah, yeah. The broke the broke version. Right. So listen up, folks. We got a uh, a serious topic, man. That you know. We want to bring to y'all, and this is this is so unbelievable. It's just it's crazy as heck. I'm gonna go on and start it off. Illinois woman faces felony charges for firing a warning shot after witnessing her fiance being shot and killed in the car. Now that's some bull. That's some Chicago, weird. what's going on? That was Chicago, right? Yeah. What's going on? Illinois. So apparently, they're driving. Bye. They stopped at a red light or whatnot? No, I think they were in their community or leaving a community, if I'm not mistaken. And mm -hmm. some random dude just ran up to them, shot in the car, killed the husband. His brain like splattered all over her. Okay. I mean, it was, I mean, it was too much. And she fired a warning shot. I'm trying to figure out why didn't she fire a shot at him, though? If you're going to go to jail, but not but, is she going to go to jail? Right, even still, they should not have arrested that woman. Well... Everybody ain't, everybody don't have that same mentality. And I don't know what's going on with Chicago PD. I don't know if there's more to the story or not. But on the surface of this, sounds like BS. Because I don't understand how your fiance, let me tell you something. If I'm in the car and somebody walk up to my car, I damn near don't even got to see a gun. Before I might start blazing. I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm trying to say. I'm just keeping it real with you folks. Yeah. I, mean, I don't I think, know what else to say. I think it's way more to the story than so? just somebody just walking up and firing a weapon. I mean, 
I don't know the family. I, I, don't, I don't know the guy, but I mean, it's kind of. I feel like it's more personal. I mean, even if it is, yeah. even if it is jail. for her to go to jail for yeah, finding a warning yeah. shot, right? I don't which I mean, I know there right. are rules, you well, know, for shooting in the air or whatever. But even if, I don't know, they you know she should not have been arrested. She would have been better off just saying, "Yeah, I let one loose in him and missed." Right. Yeah. You know, yeah, I thought he was going to kill me too. I was in fear of my life. Right. Remember those key words, folks. If you ever find yourself in a life or death situation and the police get there, especially in the state of Georgia, there's a couple key words you're going to need to know. And All they right. are. And they are number one. one. Let's go. I'm taking I fear for my life. Write it down. Write it down. Fear for my life. I fear for my life. <laughs> I thought he was gonna kill me. Okay. Or she. I thought he was gonna kill my baby. Everybody. Or she. Or she. You right about she that? Some crazy women like that beat. You know. You know what? Wow. See, you know, it's <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's. There's a couple things you need to know about Georgia law because mm -hmm. you know they got a myth about oh if I shoot someone outside my uh, coming in my house I gotta drag their body Preach. in and stuff like Preach. that. See, so, that's not necessarily yeah. true. See, all you got to be able to articulate is that you were in reasonable fear for your life. Okay. All right. Then preach, but take the time. Before you dog gonna start busting caps. Take the time. So you got to dog going know the law before you start busting caps. Now I'm telling you, Chicago. Now I'm not briefed up on everything in Chicago, but I'm telling you on the surface of this here, I call BS. Not unless there's other extenuating circumstances, like, and I'm not saying this. To be mean or nasty or whatever, right. but if there's other ex extenuating circumstances like drug deal gone bad, could be. Possibly. I'm not saying it one way or the other, right. but I'm just saying could be. And she come out after the fact and busting rounds up in the air. That might be one. Not saying that's the truth, so don't call up here with that. Mm -hmm. All right, but I'm just saying that could be another. Way why they decide to, to, to lock the lady up. I don't know. Yeah, okay, fine. but let me ask this. If that was not the case and she did just fire a warning shot, what's the purpose of being able to carry if you can't use it outside of your house? Well, or uh, in your car? <laughs> well, I don't, know, I don't know if Illinois do open carry or uh, license to carry anyway. Really? Well, well I mean, she was in her car. Yeah, I mean, well, Georgia's different. I mean, Georgia, if you don't have a weapon, you don't have a, a carrying license, your car is considered an extension of your house. house. So I'm doing the same thing in Illinois or not? Correct. I'm doing Georgia's like that. Yeah, I don't know about yeah, Illinois. Having a, a license to carry or not, seeing your husband brain being splattered in your eye, your mouth, and all that. Mm -hmm. Like, a warning shot when they, like, when they came, yeah, take me to jail or whatever you want to do. Because they would have been laying out there well, right by my car with my husband. I would have let all rounds go in there. Well, first off, I seen you shoot before, so I don't know if uh, all rounds are going to be hitting where they going to be. So you know, y'all, he's speaking on. Don't have shot me. He had to go get a I seen some of y'all shoot, including people up front. That's all I'm trying to say. Who shot the clip? Why oh, no, uh, that's range. That's, that's all I'm trying to say. This is what you do with me. You speak oh, look. Look. Listen, I did get him in a chest. I wear glasses. You did. Eventually. I wear glasses. <laughs> and I ain't got my glasses. 200 shots later. And your girl, Nip B, shot the clip. <laughs> and not by purpose, neither. <laughs> it ain't funny. She's spraying him, but she don't want any number. Hold on, stop. She shot the whole clip. She shot the clip. <laughs> I'm a doggone range, y'all. I put a minute to the side to the side next time. To the side. And that's I said, no, I what the hell are you doing? That's why you don't need no gun. I didn't do you that. Don't need no I was just playing. Mm. I didn't do that. So, folks, I mean, again, it's sad that uh, this, this brother got killed. And, and uh, our hearts and prayers go out to to the family. But um, it, I, I, I would hope that, I would hope that there's more to the story as far as uh, Chicago PD not being that messed up to just lock this woman up for shooting in self-defense because what happens is you can shoot 
in self-defense of a third party in Georgia also. Oh, really? A lot of people know don't that. know that. Do That's know right. That. Oh, explain. Okay, so let's say uh, uh, me and you are, are out somewhere or whatever. Mm -hmm. And let's say you have a legal right that someone was assaulting you, physically assaulting you, or uh, let's say they were busting a cap at you or whatever, or you were unable to defend yourself, or they got you on the ground and you're slamming your head in the ground or whatever, something that is life-threatening, then I can use deadly force in defense of a third person. For example, you go into a bank, bank robber comes in, starts robbing the bank, right? Shooting up the place, right? You can shoot in defense of a third person. Now, you better know what you're doing. <laughs> See, don't don't go out there and start shooting <laughs> your damn ex-girlfriend, right. your boyfriend, boy. We're talking about it was in defense of a third person. Mm -hmm. She laying there, he laying there, and I'm there. Uh-uh. Don't be don't don't get off the keep real caught up in that crap. Okay, clarify. I got to clarify that one. Because I ain't gonna say nothing at the sword. He said I can shoot the defense of a third person. No, I didn't. So there's a couple things you need to know about that. We need to do a segment, like a law segment, on this on this on this show also. That that would be good. So, so you know, again, just on the surface of this thing, man, it's it's going to be hard to see, you know, and I, and I would hope that in order for them to lock this woman up, because what that does is that sends a clear-cut message to everybody that I can't defend myself. Right. Really? Right. I can't defend myself. Right. I mean, what kind of crap is that? You know, we do live in the United States of America. You know, we do have a right to bear arms. We do have a right to defend ourselves. Absolutely. You know. And again, like I said, I, I, I got to keep harping on it because I don't know the whole situation with what happened with this young lady. But you would think if it was a drug deal that went bad, Chicago paper would that read, that? Oh, drug oh, deal goes oh, bad, they, they made sure they put black drug deal. woman fires in the air, gets her yeah, ass absolutely. locked up. Absolutely. They would have. So to me, I'm just saying, if it ain't more to the story on it, then that's some bull. Because anybody, any reasonable person that's being put in that spot would have done the same thing. Mm -hmm. Pure point blank. And also or something. Worse. Or her. Oh, you're they right. And let me tell you something else, folks. One thing about it, too. All right. Is that they can lock you up for anything. That's why they got a thing called court. Yeah. yeah. Get you a good attorney, go to court to fight that. Don't take no plea plea deals, no plea bargains, no this, that, that. When you know you're right, stand up for yourself. Yeah, I think stand up for that. yourself. I think she'll she'll beat that. Uh, if there's nothing more to it, folks, we gotta take our first break. We're gonna come right back right after the station identification. I'm your boy Derek Triple Officer Keep It Real. We'll see you in a few minutes, folks. All right, everybody, we are back on the Officer Keep It Real show. <laughs> I'm your boy Daryl Triplett, <laughs> here with your girl Net B, J. Anthony, Yo. and Key Mac on the back. Key Mac on the back. Key Mac like on, on the uh, back. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Key Mac on the back. 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 Yeah. She back way the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get up and dance. Get up and just start doing it. Wow. You go, Matt. You go, Matt, baby. You go. Shoot. You got it on that one. Yeah. So, folks, we talk about Chicago, Illinois. Uh, female got arrested for uh, firing a warning. She ain't even shoot nobody. Warning. Damn. That's crazy. She ain't even shoot nobody. Crazy. And you know what? That that really tells you if it is. Let's just talk a minute. That if there is no other uh, extenuating circumstances here, if that's our justice system, hmm. where we go to jail, and, and I understand what warning shots—they very dangerous people. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm not saying somebody walk up to you, you just bow, 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 just fire one. No, because bullets come down just as fast as they go up. 
Okay, there's been things where babies done been shot in the cribs yeah. upstairs, yeah. you know, on New Year's and stuff like that. So that's a very dangerous thing. But under the circumstances that we're talking about right now, where your loved one done got shot in the head, and really, no matter what, I don't care if it was a damn drug deal gone bad. Period, point blank. I don't care. You still have a right to defend yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. If it was a drug deal gone bad, somebody shot. You got a right. Someone shot, and you, and, and it is a reasonable conclusion that your ass might be next. Yeah. If yeah. they peel his muffin cap back, I think she should have did more than shot in the air. They gonna peel my muffin cap back. Mm -hmm. That's true. That would have been. I'm my just thought. saying. That would have been my thought. So I hope uh, she get a good attorney. And I hope that um, she'll be down. She'll, yeah, I think so. I'm confident they won't. They saying something about somebody where, where's the, um, who's the NAACP? That's like, where they at? Um, where's all those people at when they're rallying? Yeah. Oh, another thing. Yeah. Yeah. That was another thing they were saying. When is, where's the NRA at? Yeah. See, they're so quick to talk about pro-gun, pro-gun. You're taking our guns away from us this. You're taking our guns away from us that. Where's the NRA at right now? Mm -hmm. The NRA yeah. should be jumping up and down on this. They should be making her bond. They should be paying her bail. They should be giving her an NRA attorney. Absolutely. That's true. You see what I'm saying? Right. So see, again, there's that double jeopardy there. Mm -hmm. There are that, that two-edged sword. Come on now, people, keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it real with that. I'm just telling the truth. Don't hate me. I didn't make the damn law. And I don't run the NRA, but I'm just saying what I see. Don't hate the play. I hate the guy. So it, it is what it is. So, you know, I, to me, the NRA should be uh, protecting the girl and doing if everything's on, on, on the up and up. Now, if there's some other extenuating circumstances that maybe we ain't privy to, I don't know. Maybe that would sway their opinion. But from what I see right now, uh, that would have been blasted all on, on the news. Yeah. That would have been blasted all on the news right there. Black female, in the middle of a drug deal, blah, blah, blah. Man shot in the head. Mm -hmm. Hell, they might have charged her with the murder, too. You know? <laughs> you never know. You, you never know. I'm just yeah, saying. Just yeah, so, you know, to me, again, that make me steer the other way that it was none of that going on because that would have been definitely uh, advertised. Folks, we won't go on and open up the phone lines. Give us a call at 866-888-RUSH. 866-888-RUSH. Let us know what you think about Chicago, Illinois. Should the young lady have been arrested on its face value, on its face merit like that? Should the young lady have been arrested? And should the NRA step in and help this lady out? Absolutely. Because my vote is yes. Yeah. I still get. I don't know what else to say. Shoot. Um, oh, man. This, this, uh, this next topic. <laughs> well, y'all sit down and strap in on this one. Hold on. Sit down, strap in, strap in because this is going to be a hot topic. hot topic. Now, I want to first start off by giving this disclosure. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> we do not discriminate based off of race, creed, sexual orientation, anything like that. None of the above. So this topic here, you just gonna have to strap in on, and you just gonna have to roll with us on this one, people, <laughs> because afraid. this one right here is coming at you right here. <laughs> Here's what it read: White nationalists upset new version of roots portray slave owners in bad light. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just getting my bell and throw it away. <laughs> 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 Next, a little dinger ringer. I don't even know what the hell a dinger ringer is. <laughs> I don't think I want to know what a dinger ringer is. It's called a dinger ringer. The dinger ringer ringer ring. I don't want to know what a dinger ringer ringer ring is neither. <laughs> You don't know what the ding a ling a ling a ling a ling is. I don't want to know what it is. I'm going to snatch the ding a ling off my bed with this topic. Folks, there it is. I don't even know what to say about this one. I started off. I ain't scared. Go ahead. I started off. White nationalists upset 
version, roots, portray slavery in bad light. I got a news flash for you, damn it. You are in a bad light. No, but tell me why the guy, I forget his name, he said just because the slave owners sold the um, slave's offspring, just because they raped, them. They raped their um, the wives, does not make them bad people because they gave them they room and board. Free sale, took free room and board. And they opened up the doors for black Americans to learn about Christianity. Oh what? In the Are you serious? Well, I agree with one part of that. We learned a lot about Christianity because we had to have a lot of faith not to start killing y'all. <laughs> oh, we had to have a lot of faith. I'm still stuck. I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand it all. Oh, we're yeah. supposed to thank you? Right. But the thing about it is what it is. Exactly. Like, why y'all think it's always want to come back with what you said doing? That didn't happen. Hey. It happened. It so happened. what it is. We yeah. will never forget it. Y'all beat you Cooper Kent Tate and made him change his name to Tobin. Everything <laughs> you've done to me is already <laughs> been done to me. <laughs> 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 she don't watch roots about she don't watch roots about fifty times. <laughs> she don't watch roots fifty times, y'all. She don't watch roots. All the dialogue in Donald Trump's room. Really, Kansas, stay put. So, but <laughs> so, but they cut Kuntz's foot off, didn't he? Because he was running so they much. They cut his toes off on this one. They did. And I believe that's oh, why he made his order to kiss it. Off. He in, said kiss it means stay put. They, no, they cut it off? Oh, hold on a minute. So in, I ain't never watched the old ones. Woo! I you watched the old ones? You saw the new one? I love the this new one. This one was actually I can't take bro from reading Rainbow. Yes, okay. and that's what everybody's saying. I can't take him. Yeah. So I cannot watch Every, the everybody, old Everybody's never saying, anything. yeah. Everybody's saying that the new one's better than the old one. Yeah, but right. the, the new one show a whole lot bad more. Hold on, is, is the new one a movie or the TV show? It was a series. It, it's a series, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it over or is it still going? Well, you're pretty sure you still found it. Yeah, it's yeah. on. It's on uh, Netflix, I believe. Yeah, yeah. 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 and it's. I think it's like two series. You know, you've been watching on demand. Yeah, I mean, is it two seasons or no? Two series. Yeah, yeah, two shows. Okay, yeah. It's actually like four shows. It's four shows? Okay. okay. Well, so, you know, folks, I, you know, again, I don't know what to say. What you want, a thank you? <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Slave Owner, for enslaving me and cutting my damn foot off and making me work and raping my wives and kids and having me out there picking that damn cop. Oh, thank you, Mr. Slave Owner. And you tricked them with Christianity. That, that, That's what they did. That was y'all stuff. Not all I mean, exactly am I the only one outraged by this? That's crazy. I'm, a, I'm at a loss of speech right now. I don't, I don't because, believe this is. <laughs> I mean, that's like me walking up to you and smacking the crap out of you and telling you, uh, now I'm upset with you for portraying me in a bad light for killing you or for smacking you. Because you heard your hand trying to smack right. me in my mouth. Right. It's right. one of these topics you can, all you can say is, hmm. But like you don't even know what to say behind it. <laughs> I know what to you say. I call BS. Yeah, BS. That's what I call because, again, is that I know just as many white folk that was appalled by slavery and will fight mm -hmm. over some crap like that mm -hmm. quicker than we will. Absolutely. They will stand up for black folks quicker than we will stand up for our own self, and that's just the truth. I don't know what to tell you. Don't hate me, like I said. I'm just reporting the truth to you. Don't hate me, hate the guy. That's the truth. We hate you too. Well, you can hate me all you want. Who you? I'm talking about that video. Oh. You know what? I got a problem with your. What's his title? Who? Your producer. <laughs> what? What? That one what? over there. Why is such a few? Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Well, first of all, hold up. Hold up. He produced First, no, first no, of all, it all started with, with that beat of day on my Facebook post. She throwing shade at me. No, <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> all right, hold on. Let me tell you exactly what she said. Oh, oh boy. Let me tell y'all something, America. Y'all have known, as long as I've been in this show, I don't throw shade on nobody. Oh, oh so really? I know Jay has been. Oh, really? Ride my back like yes, the devil in heat. Because Every she always, she always coming at me. me. I'm so innocent. She always coming
I'm oh my god. I put, a, I put a dog, I put a picture of me and my daughter, she was sleeping on my chest. So adorable, right? And she was like, oh, that's so sweet. Your man boobs make it comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, you know, the man boobs, so you know, you know I had to come back hard. So I was like, I didn't come back too hard because I was going to be like, oh, did they, did they kill you in Cincinnati yesterday? <laughs> but I was like, nah, I ain't going to do it like that. So, you know, I was like, now I keep my kids away from them because every time they see it, they have nightmares. <laughs> You know, but it's all good. She always so y'all got a little y'all got a little beef going on. She here. always she found exactly. me for no reason. He, he started last week. Always for no but reason. I just said, know about it. Okay, so I know y'all watched the show last week and y'all know that Jay was in my chair and I told yeah, him I, I didn't want I him in my this. chair. And he said he didn't want to sit in my seat because my mic stank. Come out. We don't got no boundaries on this one. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's why people tune into it. We don't got no boundaries on this one. Now we go on the television. We got to curtail some of the stuff we say right now, but I'm telling you right now, we don't got no boundaries on this show. If your breast stink, you should have brushed your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she, 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 be on these two fish, you need a whole mouthpiece. That's that, that all the going on over I'm there. just saying. <laughs> I ain't sitting over there, so I can't smell your microphone. You see how that you don't comes want to me? Smell always you showing, throwing shade. You always throwing shade. The shade tree. Yeah, we need to smell it. Yeah, we need a shade tree around here. They so shady. So, what do y'all say? Let's get back on top. See, that's what I'm saying. We can't ever get nothing done because these because, because, always want to go off topic, y'all. Because of that beat. All because of her. Always. Stop. What do you say to the white nationalists, Jenny? What do I say? Mm -hmm. I have nothing to say to him. I really don't. I mean, well, see, I could go on and on and on about why, but it's ignorant. It's very ignorant. Come on. Come on. Like, well, and another thing, you are in an inter interracial marriage I also. I am. So, I mean, and I know his wife personally, and I know she'd be the first one to call some BS on this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. trust me. I mean, it's, it's you BS can't even. I think she's black today. <laughs> <laughs> she she I mean, like, oh man, it's BS. It's, it's like you said. I mean, that's like walking up, walk up to somebody, slap them in the face, and you get mad because you hurt your hand. Right. I mean, it's really nothing to really say about it. But that, right? it's, 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 it's ignorant. I don't speak on, on mm -hmm. ignorant people like that. I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't give them no. I wouldn't even give them the time of the day. Like, it makes no sense. They just they just looking for attention right now. Net B, how you calling it? I say the hell with you. White nationalists, give me my 40 acres and a mule out of premise. <laughs> <laughs> you got give me what you owe me. <laughs> you got 40 acres, don't you? No. <laughs> Shoot, I'm working on half a point five, half a one. Well, uh, I got nine of them. I got. I'm, I'm missing yeah. about 30, 30 something. Or what? What is it? 30, 28. Oh, 28, 28 of them. Damn. Not 29. 29 of them. Well, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Hey, last week I noticed something too. They was running back to edit. I was off one year too. Don't think I didn't notice that, y'all. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't no damn mathematician. Y'all slick and right. stole some. I was to keep it real proud. We're gonna. We're gonna yeah. get. We're gonna get you your 40 acres in the mule. Yeah. And we'll get you the damn mule. Yeah. And 40 tic tacs for the damn break too. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get her just the ass. Y'all know what? It's gonna be so sad. The officer keep away. Have to arrest me for what I do to his producer. Oh man! His oh my god! Music, music engineer. But no, seriously. Ever since you done been on your little, you, you slimming down now. They hate me. They hate me. Let's be honest. He thought, but she got hot sauce in her band. So like, <laughs> like, wow. There y'all. He made her. Headline, Officer Keep It Real, arrest his co-host, Nettie. <laughs> wow. Because uh, I'm going to kill. No, she's not. All right. We all seen that on the Officer Keep It Real yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, we got that one on camera. If I come up there, no, you know I, who did it. No, I'm going to blow the camera. Did I see with my finger? You, <laughs> you can't see my finger from up here. <laughs> she was pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> so you call BS on it and the hell with them. Uh, Matt, Key Matt, what do you call on it? Say that, Lord, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, okay, <laughs> you not just tell me. I say F you. 
Okay, okay. I are, man. Okay. <laughs> Let me get my okay. We need to get we need to get on nighttime television. Now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we going straight to nighttime with that comment. Yeah. That's still alive. That's oh, we going straight twenty four hours. Tonight time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it was on the internet. They, they say, like, I just want to say this. Y'all know how the country was stolen and everything was changed around to make us believe that this wasn't that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is a whole, a whole seminar on Hitler. Same thing. Oh, well, Hitler it was, wasn't really what they were trying, trying to make him, him I did, out yeah. to be. I did. He, he was not. Topic about that. And, and the symbol, the, the white supremacy symbol, it's really not. That symbol. I heard now that I did hear that's me true. and my husband had a, um, a discussion on the fact my that they Hitler, Hitler, just like they um, so tricked the Romans to kill Jesus. Mm -hmm. But we I now I do I have heard that whether he was married to a black person, I haven't heard that, but I didn't know he had right. relations with well, people like that. I'm gonna say anybody who exterminates a whole group of individuals is a piece of damn crap. They lie. Uh you telling me he didn't have nothing to do you, with killing lie. the Jews. Oh no, he I, I, I don't know. Oh really? I got to look, I got to look oh, more. Oh really? But you I got to really feel the Jews. Where's the information that? Where? I I mean, I'm just saying. Well, I'm just saying. Anybody who kills anybody, 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 if you don't like another group of people, for whatever reason, you're racist. You're yeah, racist yeah. toward them. But here's the thing. You right. don't Whether you're mad or not. No, my thing is black people come in defense. That's our defense mechanism. We didn't bust out the womb hating other races. We hate them because they hate us. But I understand you know, that, but general, if you but hate somebody else, you can still hate somebody else. I'm the, I'm it's another black term black. for you. It's that's like I said. It's, it's just like Black Panther Party. They here to protect us and stand on our side. That doesn't mean they hate white people. They're not racist. That's why. <laughs> y'all got to kind of think outside the box. It's another I mean, term for it. I wish y'all would have research more. Typically, black people don't dislike it's, white people. We don't dislike what they do, and we don't like the ones that don't like us. Well, I yeah, think. Like but, but, but hold on, I gotta say this here. Okay. I said, and I said they're not prejudiced. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, not saying that. But I'm saying this here. Now, let's just keep it 100. We do got a black president now. Mm -hmm. And all you ninjas didn't go out and vote for Barack. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Just keep it 100. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe you ain't just racist against the white people. You just got some self issues. You racist against your own kind too. I'm just saying. Because well, my terminology of it too. is... If I if I lock you up, I'm not locking you up because you black or white or whatever. I'm locking you up because you done broke the damn law. If I don't like you, I'm not gonna like you because you black or white. I'm gonna like you because you not like you because you a damn idiot. And that's what I'm saying. This is that simple. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's, it's our defense. Like we don't like you because you don't like us. Well, right. I mean right. that's right. the same right. thing with black, anything. But black people are the chosen ones. We don't just buck. That's not called racism. That's called just not being a fool. That's Who not, give on like this? No, if, if that's somebody not, don't like no, I said like white people typically, black people typically are not prejudiced against white people. We just do that because of how they treat us. We don't just dislike racists like that. Yeah. I mean, granted, we make bad decisions, I mean, every, but we I don't mean, just say like, this. For everybody, everybody. I'm saying as a whole, as far as, I'm saying as a whole, I'm not saying he do, he don't. I'm just saying white people. I'm saying as a whole, though. I mean, I've had some little old black like men you. come up to me. Hey, young buck. Like you. Hell with white. <laughs> what? Well, that's because they got a reason not to. I get it. I get it. I get it. No, I really get it, though. But, but the thing is. Okay, but it's like typically, if you got, uh, if you prejudice against a certain race subject, anybody for that reason, you have to have a reason, right? So why, yeah. black, why black people don't like white people? They have several reasons. Well, they got several reasons why they don't like well, white everybody. people. And, I mean, and, and it's not just black or white. Them. It's everybody. Yeah. See, my yeah. thing is, is this like here. That we will always will be in this turmoil well, until we learn to take race and put it behind us. And just start seeing people. If you messed up, if you go up and kill a group of people, you just a messed up individual. individual. I don't got it's no good, love for you. It don't make no difference if you're white, if you're black. That's it right. don't make no difference to me. Because me, I love everybody today. Give me a reason I love. Like I said, I don't know how to love uh, love my enemies yet. And that's how normally black people yeah, are. Yeah,
When I met Jay, I didn't like him because he was light skinned. Okay, and he had a beard. And he had that good hair. You know, got waves and stuff on it. You know, I'm about to go fall. I don't like him. That's because he be using those little kicks. <laughs> but hate is real, him? boy. <laughs> There's no love for the good looking men though. Bro. Hey, I know because I got the same problem. You know, because I got a six pack, I look good, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's, 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 hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. Don't hate me because I look good. We all got six packs, that's kind of little way of fat. You know? There it is. Mine's just cold several layers of fat. Yeah. But I'm all right with that, but listen up, bro. gotta protect your six pack. Listen up, listen up, folks. I'm gonna tell you down here. Is, you know, love people for who they are. And I ain't trying to be cliche or nothing like that, but see, that's what's wrong with us right now. We're too busy worrying about, oh, this person white, this person black. And see, you know something? Just as quick as I go stand in, in the middle of a crowd of black folk talking, I'll do the same thing with white, white folk. People, absolutely. I'll do that in a minute. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? I like wine, too. I like cheese and crackers, too. Hey, you know, I'll reach right over there and grab a cheese and crackers. I, I don't give a damn. Absolutely. I'm just like that. That's just me. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for everybody else because I already know. First off, you don't get your blessings like that. Secondly, you're gonna be living a, a long, hard life if you go. And that's white or black, Chinese or whoever. You're gonna live a long, hard life. You go around hating people because the color of their skin. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's just that. That's real. I don't care if you're black or you're white. I don't know what to say, folks. We gotta get on. With, uh, we gotta get off this topic, and uh, we gotta go on to the question of the day. Question. Uh, Nippy, hit it. This right. is your. No, no, no. Can we? Can we let Mac do this one? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the question of the day, folks. Yeah, they can't read anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, okay, she ain't so talking in braille. Uh, <laughs> our question of the day is. Yes. Um, you gotta can speak you, up so to make sure we hear you, man. Can y'all uh, hear me? Can everybody hear me? We can hear you. Well, anyway, the question of the day is, do you think child support should have restrictions on what the recipients can purchase? Nope. Hell yes. Yep. As a man, yeah. yeah. I well, I'm bringing it twice on that. I said no. Can I answer? Go ahead, Nick. Please. The reason, Has that ever stopped her? Listen, <laughs> first of all, the reason I say no is because chances are, whether you the parent that the mother that has the kids or the father that has the kids, you already have spent all your money on the children anyway. So by the time you get child support, you might need a little money to do something for yourself. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. really? I know. Mean, well, you you know. over there buying weeds and here, no, and, hear me out. And, hear me outfits. out. If I get paid, when I pay my bills, whatever I have left, a great portion of that gonna go to those kids and what they need. But everybody I don't have a little say. money for my First off, your electricity getting cut off every week. That's right. number one. Real. Let's just keep it real. First off, your electricity getting cut off every damn week, so you ain't paying no bills. I'm just saying. You're not talking about me. I'm not talking about you. No, no, no. But I'm just saying. For real, for real your rent only $10. For real, for real. For real. I'll, I'll side, it's child support. I believe that the money should go to a child. But here's the That's thing. That's right. Okay, listen to what I'm saying. It's okay, not what is, support. No, I understand. Exactly. But what I'm saying is, let me tell you what people lot. don't realize when you per when you in home, just say you had an apartment or a three bedroom house, whatever, you ain't get that three bedroom house because you need to sit in a room. You got a three bedroom house because you got children that's gonna take they up don't. your room. Here's the, hear me out. You got light bills that's gonna be higher because of kids. You gonna have water bills that's gonna be higher because of kids. So even when you pay your monthly bills, those kids are contributing to that. So you already not paid your child support. Chances are, by the time you get that child support payment or whatever you get it, it probably just be a little something for you to do something to yourself, for yourself. Now here's the thing: if if they, a, a father was not put up on child support, I'm just saying, I'm, if a father was not put up on child support and the father said, "Hey, well here go you a hundred dollars towards whatever," you know, child support ain't just for the child; it's for the living expenses as well. You hear me out? Well, I guess what the father did. Huh? Uh, that, if, I mean, hey, let me tell you, by all means, 
I'm sure a lot of parents would love that because yeah. you're going to pay a whole lot more than what child support pays. Well, let me tell you this, though. Well, I mean, let's just keep it real. That's my spiel. Well, my <laughs> thing is this here. My thing is this here. When they figured out your little child support, they already calculated all, calculated. <laughs> they already calculated all that in there. Your little light bill, your little rent, all no, that other don't. stuff. Mm -mm. Yeah, they do, because they do it on the damn worksheet. When they ask you, don't tell me. I still pay child support. I'm going back and down. Let me tell you what they do now. They calculate, they calculate it based off the money that you make. On the money you make. The the money 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 you make. So therefore, if you living above your damn means, that ain't my problem. I'm going to suggest you go on and downgrade that damn apartment and that stack of weed you got on your damn head. That's first off. Secondly, my money ought to be going to use to be supporting my child. It is. Not your boyfriend. Well, I agree. Not, not your, your damn date, uh, dates. Not your night out on the town. You're renting a car because you're crazy butt too crazy down there and buy you a damn car. No, 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 no. That should be going and my damn baby walk around in a dirty diaper no, with poop stains see, all in it and with hair and no. all that other stuff. That's no. a different. Oh, I'm saying if the child is well taken care of, okay, so scratch the car. See, that's just from, for you. Oh, you know, I can see that how all but why you think, child support. But why do you think they put this into be, effect? They're not. It's just, uh, that's, not, that's what you do. Oh, no, no, but, here, do but here's the thing. Yeah. Now you can now, also now, have. Not for real. Now women don't like you, though. No, but here's like the you. thing. Now you can also have the child support direct deposit into your account. So when you get mixed up in your money, it don't matter. Well, that, that's for that's for moms that really take care of. I their think. Kids. I think. But I think this issue this came up because you got people that's paying child support and their kids are not getting taken care of. Well, if it's tell it to them, man. Then after you know? they don't pay, these bras still got their hand out talking about oh. Well, the baby needs, she need this and she need that. Well, Trick, you already went and put me on papers. And Trick. you already sending money for this and that. So that should have been taken care of. We didn't say, we said child support, not baby mama support. Mm. Like, that's my point. Say, say that again. Child support, child support not what? Not, not, not what is it? Not baby mama support. Ain't dang all right. I'm sorry. I just got to keep it real. Like, I know y'all probably call up here and hate on me, but I don't care. You handle your business. I ain't saying that, you know. I'm just child support because they mad because these men don't want them no more. Yeah. They don't want them. I mean, yeah, I mean, it is. But here's the thing. I think when it comes to child support, I don't think one bad apple should spoil the whole bunch. Well, hell, apparently it ain't just one bad apple. I mean, well, here's the thing. It's a child. <laughs> apparently there's a lot of bad apples that's full in the bunch. But if the child ain't being taken care of, I mean, that's a whole Yo, different thing. Yo, damn, they walk around dirty. That's a different thing. Dirty way. doctors on. Being a child is here. Nappy head. Hey, being a father needs to go to court to get the child. Yeah, they got dead beat dads. Because they ain't got rights to. They got dead beat but, so they that sure do. That means that the child need, the dad needs to go to court to get custody of the child again. It ain't always that easy. True. Especially when you done took half my damn check. <laughs> I ain't making them but four hundred, five hundred dollars a week. You done took half of that. That's two fifty. Where the hell am I gonna get the money for the attorney? And a lot of these he wants fifteen hundred just as a retainer. A Cause your crazy ass want to damn go over there and spend all the money on damn weed and all that other stuff. And a lot of don't get me started. Don't even know. Yes, it is a little. Well, okay, so it, it might be a touchy subject. <laughs> but, 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 I would, no, but no, but let me tell you something. <laughs> but let me tell you something. I never had that issue with my baby mama doing that to me because she do take care of the kids. Okay. I'm going to tell the truth. She take care of the kids. Okay. And she don't do nothing else. We can't get along worth shit. Stop. Yeah, she take care of the but she do take care of those babies and she love them. Those babies ain't never went a day without nothing. I will say that. But see, now that's, that's my point. Yeah. So, oh, all right, folks. I'm sorry, we gotta do the sponsors, man. I get started on a rant. Y'all know what time it is. It's gonna do the sponsors, man. <laughs> go, go on this one. Well, <laughs> piss me off talking about this. We would like to say, <laughs> somebody is a little bit in their feelings. All right, folks, this has been your boy, Daryl Triple. We've made it through another episode of the Officer Keeper Real Show. Be sure to join us next Friday at 4 o'clock at OKIR.TV. We are out. Peace.